All right, welcome to another examples video and I'm going to do the white cross first here. So I think I can do an extended cross pretty easily um, by doing using this block as well as this edge. So I can do something like L prime U R2 and then I've got this block here and this edge so I can go F prime B2 <clears throat> like that, then D2 and then insert my last cross edge there. And as I was doing that, I noticed these two, which I can do like that. Then I'm going to rotate back this way and do, uh, I'd probably be inclined to do the back right pair first because there's no real kind of, there's no super good way of doing these multi, uh, doing something multi slotting for these two. So I can do them like that. Then the last pair, then OLL and an R permutation. Okay, second example solve on white, and we've got this one which is misoriented, so I need to figure out how to tackle that. But otherwise, um, uh, the way I would execute this cross is to do d prime l, then d prime u prime, r prime f r two. Now I don't know if I would necessarily would have planned that this uh, this edge piece would be back here and this corner piece would be here, but. Well, a really opt a really efficient way to make an X cross now is to just do keyhole and do L prime U L and then D prime. But in a speed solve, I'm going to say I probably wouldn't see that. So then I would go on to do these two first, like that. And luckily enough, these two were also connected, so I can insert them, like that. Then I can do keyhole and insert this corner, like that, and then do these two and I would probably do a sledgehammer to uh, orient two edges. OLL and then G permutation for PLL. Okay, the first thing when I see this scramble um, is that We've got two cross pieces on red, but these two are misoriented up the top here, so that's no good. Then the next thing I see is these two on orange, and these two as well. So the orange cross is going to be pretty easy. It, I'll do something like R prime L, D prime, R D two R prime, and I also see that when I do the first R prime, this F two L pair will come to the front, will come to the top here. So when I I can go R prime L, D prime, R D two R prime, and then go straight away and insert that F two L pair there. Then the next thing that I see are these two, which I can insert like that. Then I'd go for these two into this position, and then these two into the front right. So that was a pretty easy um, F to L. Then OLL, and then E permutation for PLL. All right, the first thing that I see in this scramble is these two red cross pieces, and I also see I've got these two as my other ones. Um, I'm trying to think of a good way to actually solve this extended cross. I guess one thing I can do is just do R prime F, R two, U prime, R prime, and then rotate, and then do something like U prime, L, F two, L prime, D two. Um, that wasn't super efficient, but in the inspection time that I had there, that was the way I'd planned that cross. Um, but let me know, let me know if you find a more efficient way to do that extended cross. Um, but I thought it was reasonably finger trick friendly. Um, so then the first F2L pair that I see are these two, and whilst I'm doing them, I see that these two will come out to this position. So I can insert them, uh, I think I'd probably insert them like that. Then I've got this F2L pair here. And because I'm going to do a rotation anyway, what I want to, what I'm going to do here is do solve these two and orient my um, uh, orient my last layer edges. So I can do that by doing something like that, and then inserting them. And then I've got OLL. Um, instead of doing a U two and then doing OLL from there, this angle, what I'm going to do is do a U, 
and do OLL like this because that preserves this block and also uh, attaches these two pieces together. So I'm going to end up with a blocky PLL and I've got a J permutation, which is really easy. Okay, this last scramble is a bit tricky. There's not that much on offer. Um, we can do something like, yeah, I'd probably go for the blue cross, um, either that or the white. Um, let's just go with blue in this case. Even though we've got these three which are misoriented, I can do something like uh, white L, U prime D, white L prime, and then that gives me these two solved, and then I can do the last one by doing D prime L, D prime. And for my first F2L well pair, I can do these two and do them in a way to pair up these two. So R prime U prime R U, R prime U two R, pairs these two up. Then I'll rotate here and I'll probably go for these two in the back right here. And then these two into the front right. And I should know this is EBLL, but I don't unfortunately. So I would do an OLL and then PLL. And again, I did the AUF before the Z permutation in that case, um, just because I think doing AUF after M moves is, can be a little bit tricky sometimes.